loses attraction quicker than I thought. Sorry, you guys might want to stick around for this, Frank. Ah! Ah! Uh, guys? <laughs> Yo, <laughs> I'm not even doing anything. Not even the depths of hell could have forged a diamond this special. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, um, the, the gentleman that I spoke to, uh, from 803, uh, he said that it is the house right up the driveway to the right. So he didn't, um, he didn't mention anything about an alternative way to get in, but I'll be using a forklift. I'm not going to drive the whole rig down there. Yeah. Yeah. I'm not even sure if I can make it down there with the forklift and I told him I'll do as best as I can. Okay. Okay, cool. Thank you. I appreciate it. You as well. Thank you. Cool. Good morning. Uh, we are back. So, uh, we are, can't remember the name of the street, but either who, um, good morning. It's been a while. Um, as you can see, we got some, some snow, some flurries this morning. It is freezing. Again, the heat in my truck is not working. Uh, now, those of you who may ask me, why is it that I haven't gone to Penske to go get the heat fix? And my thing is, I'd rather be in a heatless truck and deal with no heat than sit at Penske for, you know, eight hours trying to get trying to get the the heating issue resolved so uh i'd rather just deal with no heat and grab a couple of these bad boys you know what i'm saying and uh just stick those in my pocket and just keep warm as best as i can uh so uh here's the situation so as you heard me discussing with that lady this is the driveway. Well, this is like a road that leads to the driveway, but um, I was walking down it. It wasn't, it was kind of slippery. Wasn't too, too bad. I told the customer, I'll do as best as I can to get it delivered uh, down the driveway. Uh, I do have consent from him to record. Um, let me get out of this school bus's way. I do got consent from him to record and uh, And um, so I walked down the driveway and, you know, I was like walking, kind of dragging my feet to see if I would like slip and fall. But the, uh, but the powder is so fresh that it's not really slippery. Not, not, that, not all too, too much. So it's not too slippery. Um, so, you know, as you guys know, and for those of you who don't and who are new to the channel, it is a curbside delivery. Anything beyond curbside is driver discretion. So, uh, you know, I don't know how exactly how long the driveway is. Um, exactly. So, uh, you know, we'll do the best that we can with what we got. But I told the gentleman I normally don't do it. I normally don't drive down driveways that are like a hill or a slope that are covered in snow for, you know, safety reasons. And I'd advise, I highly advise any unexperienced operator to heed that warning uh, word for word because things could get pretty sketchy pretty quick. So, and that's the last thing you want is to be driving down the uh, driveway or the road with, you know, a heavy or an unstable load or even, even empty. You know, empty can sometimes make it even worse. You know, when you have your forklift and you don't have any weight on it and the forklift is extra light, so it can't really dig in as well. So, and that's really the last thing you want is uh, to have no control over your machine. Now, in a controlled environment, it's safe to, you know, I mean, it's uh, fun, not safe, I'm sorry. It's fun to, you know, practice and train yourself on how to control or in, make attempts to control 
an out of control forklift or Moffitt. Um, and you know, the, the better you train for it, the better you prepare for it, you know, the better prepared you'll be for when an incident like that actually happens and something like that in a controlled environment, I do recommend it, you know, because you never know, you know, it could be a road like this and I could be driving down there to make a, you know, a right turn into the driveway. Next thing you know, you know, the temperature plummets another two degrees and they didn't salt the road. And now I'm skating on a sheet of ice. So I need to know how to be able to control my machine and my equipment, you know, and especially because we pivot on the back tire, you know, and a lot of that driving force comes from the back tire. Ew, look at all that mud. It might not be the easiest to control. So, you know, seatbelt on for safety. As you can see, I got my floodlights on. I warmed up the machine at the store, but it's it's probably about 30 degrees out right now. So, a 20 minute drive from the store cooled down whatever bit of heat I had built up in the engine. So. Because this is a hill, you always want to go down backwards. And for most of the bulk of the hill, you kind of want to just let the machine do its thing. You know, if you're an unexperienced operator. Um, and my advice would be never, never get too comfortable with your machine. As far as like letting your guard down because things can happen and when you let your guard down and you get too comfortable that's when you know the crap could hit the fan so I'm gonna take it easy real quick here let me see if I could turn the camera a little bit for y'all what I want to do is I want to test out how slippery it is so I'm gonna let up off of everything See, I got a little bit of slide and you're the, the brakes trying to catch and you know help prevent me from sliding further. I'm gonna take off my gloves because they're kind of wet. And I'm gonna grab my hot hands and hold them in my hands while I control this machine. I'm gonna shake them up real quick. To help restore some of the feeling back of my fingers and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna swing to the left and then or swing to the right I'm sorry Whoa. see see it's really really slippery here my tires sliding sideways I'm barely able to catch traction what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to spin it around that's all right I'll just keep it going straight uh, as best as I can. And also what may help is lower the tire pressure, but you gotta be careful because if you're carrying a really, really heavy load, that might work against you. So I'm gonna try to spin it around here again. Uh, uh, probably not because there's water on either side of me, so. There's a pothole coming up. And this load is starting to try to wiggle forward, so I'm going to try to spin it. Go. I'm 
sure it'll be able to make it, but. Thank you, I appreciate it. Yeah, I started losing traction on the hump. I saw you and I yeah. like, oh shit. You can just drop these in front of the left garage door. All right, sounds good. That's So I'm gonna twist it to make it easier. Would you mind if I drove in this snow so I could kind of line it up with the door? Sure. So that way you could just slide everything like off into the garage. You don't gotta yep. lift it and twist it. And just, uh, just stay in my line of sight because I can't see you. So I'm gonna lift it up just so I can see what I'm doing. And there's nothing here I got to worry about, right? Okay. So you got 16s coming next. Yeah. All right. So as always, just do your best with what you got. Um, if at any point, guys, and girls, and non-binaries, and whoever watches this, you know, I have every right to leave it on the curb. But you know, you want to try to. Uh, you know appease the customers as much as you can and uh you know this wasn't too too bad of a driveway as far as distance but you know it being snow covered definitely made it a little bit more challenging um gotta grab my hot hand and put it in my hand uh, and this being like an off-roading driveway it doesn't make it any better either so glad I didn't just eat a second ago. That one went down rough. As you can see there, that's where I kind of started losing traction uh, right in front of us. So. in the comment section how were you how was your christmas how was your new year's i forgot to say today is january 4th 2021 and we'll see what this year got in store for us as far as interesting deliveries and stories and all that 
good stuff. And I do appreciate you guys sticking with me through the drought of the season as far as like content, you know. Uh, let's see, I gotta get a better grab on this. So, once you get a better grab, throttle up, cram it in there. There you go, Frank. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lift it up, make sure that both straps are clear. Both straps are clear. Definitely got to watch out for that power line there. All right, so you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to back it up. Ugh. Damn, wheels having a hard time spinning. So I'm going to back it up. Watch out for that pole. Side shift to the right. Oh, damn. Dang. With millimeters to spare, y'all. So I'm gonna side shift to the left again. I'm up on the curb a little bit now. tilted back I'm all the way pulled back always wave at the bus drivers they're nice people they wait for us and you just want to take your time working your way down lift up where the garbage can is. Take your time. Yeah, it was crazy this year. We almost got snow on Christmas. Uh, but we had a crap ton of rain, so it was like a few degrees colder. What I mean by a few degrees, like, you know, I'm veering off a little bit. Gotta drive forward, straighten out. So, yeah, what I mean by a few degrees is, uh, maybe eight or so degrees we would have got a, a bunch of snow on christmas uh but yeah i had to go down towards bridgeport connecticut you know to go see family and stuff uh let's see i'm gonna lift up go over this Sliding everywhere. Hey, wait till there's a spot where there's no snow. a bunch of snow we got a couple inches of rain so that would have easily amounted to about a foot of snow or so but yeah let me know if it snows a lot where you guys live and where it is and what state you guys live in 
let me know what your annual snowfall is there. But here in Connecticut, the winters have been super mild. It's like we barely get any snow anymore. If I could go to the left. All your branches and stuff are in the way. Yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. I'm already uh, hitting on this one. That's all right. You can drive right through them. Drive right through them? Yeah. All right, cool. Okay. That's all she wrote. I just gotta take a quick picture of it and you should be all set. Yeah. That's the thing I was worried about was those 16s. Yeah. I was thinking, well, worst come by heavy dropping down at the end of the drop. You were awesome. Thank, Thank you. you. Very much. I appreciate that. We'll call the company and tell them what a great job you did. This is awesome. Who, Home Depot or my company? Separate. You don't work for Home Depot? I do not. Oh, who do you work for? Well, if I give it to Home Depot, they'll pass it along, won't they? Or no? Barely. Uh, what's your company? <laughs> uh, name of the company that I work for is Safford Delivery and Transportation. Safford Delivery. Safford. Stafford. No T. Safford. Safford Delivery and Transportation Services. You wouldn't have their phone number, would you? Yeah, I sure do. Here's the business card from my oh, boss. That makes it easier. Fantastic. Yeah. And your name is Mike? Yep. All right, Mike. Thank you. I'm the owner. Oh. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm Roy. Nice to meet you, Roy. So, uh, yeah, you're all set. Uh, as you can see, have a good Christmas. <laughs> happy New Year. And a happy New Year. I hope this year's a lot better. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see what this year drags in. So. Yep. All right, bud. I got to get rolling. Bye. Be good. Be safe. Thank you very much. Thank you. All right. Yeah, I saw the Subaru. Yeah. Ah, got it. All right, no problem, bud. All right, 
So I'm gonna retract my forks. had a snowflake hit me in the eye but yeah guys that pretty much wraps up this video i do appreciate all of you guys watching uh this pretty much is going to conclude the video if you want to watch me maybe lose more traction on the way up this guy's driveway uh stick around but that pretty much does it for this and as you guys know i don't really edit my videos as of yet so uh you can pretty much stop watching now and uh uh, click on another video. Go watch something else of mine. Make sure you leave a like, comment, subscribe, hit the notification. Ah, ah, ah. Lose attraction quicker than I thought. Sorry, you guys might want to stick around for this, Frank. Ah. Ah. Uh, guys. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> I'm not even doing anything. All right, let's try this again. There we go. I don't know. You guys might want to stick around for this. I don't know. I might I might drift off into that pond over there. We'll see. We will see. But see that's the thing about the lighter loads that I was explaining. If you're still here watching, uh that your machine will lose traction even easier because your machine is that much lighter. Not that this machine is light. I think it weighs like 62 or 6,400 pounds empty, not including fuel and the weight of the driver or the material that you're hauling or carrying. So 